Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can brainstorm and organize your content ideas using Milanote. If you're new to Milanote, Milanote is a visual note taking app. So it allows you to bring in all of these different like assets and ideas that are inspiring you, things that you're researching. So whether you have a video, an image, URLs like articles, PDF documents, screenshots from questions that your audience is leaving you in your social media posts, all of these things, you can bring them all together. And the beauty of this is that it allows you to start grouping common questions, common themes together, and really help you surface relevant and valuable content ideas for your audience. So with that being said, let's hop into Milano and I'll show you how to make this all happen. All right, so we are inside of Milanote and this is where we're gonna kick off all of our brainstorming. Inside of Milanote, you have the option to drag in different things into a board. So you could add in notes, links, to-do lists, columns. There's like a lot of different cool things that Milanote helps you bring in here. What I'm gonna do first is I wanna create a section where I could do some content analysis. I have taken a look at content that performs well. I have taken a look at content that performs out, performs well, and I wanna be able to continue to iterate on what is doing well. I also wanna take note of things that may have received a lot of comments that generated, that sparked a lot of questions or things that visually my audience seemed to like, uh, things that they seem to share or comment on, things that may have expanded my reach, reels that may have had a bit of a, or TikTok videos, anything that may have had a bit of a um, signal that something was performing well. So what I did is I went and I looked at my analytics and I took some screenshots to help me analyze, better analyze what was performing well. And I'm gonna leave a section here with some of those screenshots. So I took some screenshots. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add in an area where I wanna bring in some images that can help me understand what my audience really enjoyed in terms of my content, what they may have shared, um, engaged with and just trying to see like things that um, I can iterate on because again there's clues that you can always um, build on you can leave yourself some notes here so after you've taken a look at your um, analytics and your data make sure you sort of write some takeaways in here so again the first thing I've done is I am taking a look at my own analytics this is something you can do um, on any platform that you're most active on. You want to be able to analyze what's working well, what's uh, resonating with your audience, and try and pick up on any themes um, that you can uh, identify and anything that appears to be performing well with your audience so that you can continue to iterate on that. Again, you want to be able to capture clues that your audience is giving you about what is performing well. That is the first step in this process. All right, and moving along to the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to also capture frequently asked questions. What is your audience trying to solve? Like, what are the problems that they have that they're leaving you clues about? So I'm going to create a section called frequently asked questions. So for this, there might be certain topics that you talk about that sparks a lot of interest in your audience. Things that give you the opportunity to expand on the topic or help address their concerns and help pretty much like unblock them and solve a problem with them. Um, this is really great content because it helps you build a know, like, and trust factor with your audience. And so you want to be able to go to your content, whether it's your blog posts, videos, um, social media captions and comments in there, and be able to um, summarize some of the feedback that you're getting for posts that you can expand on. So let me add some of those screenshots in here. These questions are going to help spark additional content ideas. Like what are they asking? Is there a common theme? Um, I noticed that in some particular videos that I shared, uh, it was very easy for me to spot what my audience was interested in. I want you to try and do the same where you look at the videos or posts that you're making, look at your DMs, look at um, the emails that you're getting and what are some of the common questions that your audience is already asking you that you can help articulate in a future post. What this does is it helps you create content that is highly relevant to your audience, that your audience you know will find valuable, they're asking you, especially if you can start to create a common theme around some of the questions that your audience is curious about. 
So that's the second part. We've done the content analysis and we've done frequently asked questions. So as you start to kind of see this come together, make sure that you also leave a space for you to annotate and leave yourself notes along the way. So make sure that you're writing down key takeaways from your audience. What are the common questions, uh, concerns, problems that they're trying to solve? What are like their dreams and like end state that they're trying to get to? Um, how can you help unblock them? What are the opportunities for you to mention your products or services? How can you position yourself as an expert or as somebody who has figured out what they're trying to solve? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to um, doing some actual like additional research. So I'm going to create a section here um, called keyword searches. I want to see like I know my audience and I want to see how they're searching for this problem online. What are the common questions that they have? And one thing that I'm going to do to help sort of get a pulse on that is I'm going to use a tool called Answer the Public. Answer the Public is a really great tool. It's free. It allows you to do some free searches. Um, you could upgrade to a paid subscription for this, but it allows you to search what people are asking. And so you can enter a keyword and then it gives you um, some ideas of how they're asking that question, where, how, like, and things like that. It's really helpful because it gives you perspective on Google searches that your audience is actually entering online. So let's try one. I'm going to do one, um, say, maybe on skincare. This is unrelated, but say I wanted to see how are people searching skincare um, tools, I mean, rituals and products. So on here, I searched the website, answered the public, and I entered the word skincare just to kind of get an idea of how my audience my you know, this is a pretend case. But in this case, I'm trying to see, like, what are they asking about? So some of the questions are like um, about developing a skincare routine, you know, skincare products that actually work, um, you know, which skin products to not mix, um, you know, things of like when to do it. Um, they're asking about certain products. They're asking about um, which skincare brand is the best for anti-aging, a good skincare routine. Why is it necessary? Why is it important during the winter? This is totally relevant during the winter time, right? So um, this can help give you some ideas. Like, how are they asking these questions? It gives you the format of like, are, can, how, what. Um, it's really, really helpful. And it can give you some ideas of all of these questions. Like, it got... 138 questions of what you can answer. And that's a lot. I'm also going to sign in so I can download this. So this was one tool called Answer the Public, but there's other ways that you can also find different content ideas. You can search for, you can use Answer the Public, you can use Google's search results. So type in a word and then see the related searches that also appear for that. And that can help give you some content ideas. So what I did is I just downloaded the images from Answer the Public and I brought them into Milanote. So there's one more tool that you can also use uh, to also find related content ideas and it's called Also Asked. So enter you can enter a question, um, a search query, and then find out what people are asking about. So I'm going to do this one. Let me do an example again of doing skincare and see what comes up. So when you search this, you're going to see some of the ways that this gets mapped. So you'll find that with skincare, people ask like, what is the best care for skin? What is the number one dermatologist recommended brand? I'm going to download the PNG image of this as well. Um, but this is also like a great place to get ideas. You'll see that it's kind of mapped and grouped together. And I'm going to download that and also transfer it into Milanote. What I did here is I identified, I made some notes, right? So I took a look at some of the frequently asked questions and uh, using Milanote's um, table column, I was able to identify which kind of questions I want to be able to address. And then the format, like maybe just brainstorming, like, do I want to address myths and mistakes? Do I want to make this into a video, a carousel post, um, a live topic, and so on. So you can kind of grab and start, start to formulate some content ideas. Now we are at the home stretch where, you know, say building on the topic of that search I did about skincare, 
building on the topic I did about skincare, now I have identified like that's my say that's my topic and I want to do subtopics around that. So I could say like when it comes to skincare, I want to talk about products in skincare, like which best products um, to use, what not to mix, um, it's cool skincare hacks. And um, I also identified another topic of like routines and then specifically like ingredients. So when you're doing this, you can create this table using of whatever format works best. For me, here's the format that I want to suggest where you talk about um, the topic or question you want to address, the format in which you want to um, deliver that. If there's a specialty that you have that you want to highlight, maybe you specialize in that particular area, this is an area for you to make sure that you weave in your messaging into this. And then is there a product or service that you're going to highlight? Leave a note for that so that you can weave that also into your content. And then what is the call to action? What is the final thing you want your audience to do after consuming your piece of content? So that's like a very small starting point for you if you want to follow that. Um, so with this, um, here's another example where I put like an example of routines as a, as a subtopic and then like ingredients where we kind of go really in depth with um, ingredients. And the way I did this is um, Nila Note has a section for you to add in a table. So I just drag this in here. So you can add a title. I'll just show you an example, but you can add a title. You can add more notes here and other details that can help you with your brainstorming. You can add it in as a table or with images, whatever might be helpful to you. And then if you need a way to kind of group things together, there is an option to add in um, some arrows. So if you go to the three dots here, there's a line and you can bring that in here as well. And then if you want to leave yourself a label about this, you can leave a title in here. So there's a lot of things that you can kind of group together. And then as you start um, moving things around, everything will like uh, be grouped together as a, a content idea. So we are at the home stretch, right? The final stretch where you're adding in your content ideas and you're probably trying to figure out like how many content ideas do I need? So one thing you can do is you could take a look at like how many times are you posting per week? Are you doing this for a YouTube video, a podcast, a weekly blog post or email? Think about how many you need and just break that down. So as an example, if you were gonna be brainstorming content ideas for a YouTube video, there's 52 weeks in a year, right? And then right now you have these four topics that you wanna talk about um, on a weekly basis. So you have four topics and then you have the 52 weeks. It means that you need 13 content ideas. And these 13 content ideas under each category can help give you a weekly topic to share on, on your social channels or on your YouTube channel. So that makes it very manageable and you just have to take action on that after once you have those 13 content ideas you can start to implement them write down your outline and start to create content and as a whole this is what your whole process would look like so you started with your content analysis you started then you went on to look at your frequently asked questions things that your audience is already asking then you went on to do keyword searches to think about questions that can help spark new ideas that you can um, also adapt into your messaging. And then finally, you finish with the brainstorming where you identify how many content ideas you need to think and brainstorm. These are gonna be highly valuable, highly relevant for your audience, well-researched, and um, that all uh, tie back to your product or service and that have a call to action that ties back to your marketing um, goals. And so there you have it. That's how you can brainstorm content ideas using Milanote. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this workshop style video. I would love to continue to share more. If there's a question you have or something you'd like me to address in the future, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe so you continue to see information related to content strategy, tips and tutorials and inspiration that helps you simplify and streamline your content marketing efforts. And until next time, keep creating and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.